What's up, guys? It's uh, it's default, and uh, y'all been asking about this this indicator um, that I've been using lately to to spot potential reversals, and it's uh, it's called standard deviation channels. And uh, I'm going to show y'all how to set it up, how I use it, and um, and yeah. So here it is on TLS uh, Thinkorswim platform by TD Ameritrade. Um, they have some similar ones on TradingView, but I really don't like them, um, so I just use this. It's really the only reason I even use this account. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to go and set up a TLS account if you don't already have one to use this. Okay, so you're going to go over here to Studies, Edit Studies, and I'm going to go ahead and close all that out, and you're going to search standard dev channel and you're going to add this three times okay so now we're going to come over here and we're going to change the the deviation levels so the first one we're going to put at one second one's already at two so we leave that alone the third one we're going to change to three and as you can see boom there we go now we got our levels so now we just got to go back and change the colors and i do this for psychological reasons the first one i put to yellow to basically tell me beware because this is a normal price range area uh, I changed the second one to blue because it's in uh, the, it's in closer waters to reversal potential reversals and I changed the third one to green because for me that means let's go all hands on deck potential reversal is in effect okay and there we go aesthetically pleasing if I do say so myself um, so here this beige line in the middle is is the average mean price of the stock for any given period of time I have this set to one minute one day because I am a scalper and uh, that's what I do I don't swing if you want to swing you can set it to different time frames but I keep it on one day one minute okay so this is the average price for that given time frame and as you get further away each standard deviation is another level away from it and all things will return return to normal usually so as you get further away the more likely there is to be a reversal back towards the average price so it, as you can see it really respects the levels um, but never just use one indicator by itself um, no matter how good it is you guys like I've gotten wrecked many times doing that so I like to use it in Confluence with Market Cipher here. Um, this is a leading indicator. Uh, it shows cash flow and momentum. So money coming, coming in, money coming out. Momentum to the upside, momentum to the downside. And and these are this is a leading indicator. So it can be used in Confluence with the standard deviations to spot reversals and. It, it works really well for me so I, I really advise y'all to go check that out and, and I'll make another video um, to go more in depth on that um, so here I will show y'all a couple proof of concepts for it here was uh, SPY on the 10th uh, about two and a half standard deviations down uh, went a little bit further at 10 a.m. it went a little bit further down and then it did a reversal all the way back up to about the average price so standard deviation was spot on there uh, today I did a BAC um, put right there I made about 20% uh, you know about getting close to the third standard deviation and I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I did a nice little scalp uh, Merck reversal uh, I bought some calls after it, it had passed the third standard deviation and I only got like 9%. You know, I saw some other guys that, that took this um, that took this signal and they got like 60%. So hats off to them. Um, Lucid this morning, we really just got uh, like 26% off of this today. But this was more of to the upside momentum, really. Uh, but see, you had a beautiful play where you could have played the, the backside right there. So it really respects the levels, guys. Um, but as always, you know, don't just rely on one thing. And, uh, you know, this, this, this is another thing. A lot of people, when they see a massive spike, and they, they, they always say, oh, man, well, we missed it. But in, in my opinion, I see it a different way. I look at it differently. I see this as, 
um, somebody caught what we call in surfing the set wave. And, and this is the most unpredictable wave. And, and now I'm looking to ride the, the next wave behind that, a more predictable wave back down and, uh, or inversely. So it's, it's really a simple trading strategy that works for me. Uh, you know, I love doing, doing the research on unusual whales, you know, watching the options order flow, making the list, setting the trigger levels. But, but this, this trading strategy right here, spotting reversals and scalping, it's, it's just like a cheat code to me. And, and I'm of the hacker mindset, so I love, you know, freedom of information and taking the path of least resistance. So, so this is very appealing to me and, and I'm just sharing it with y'all, you know. However, everyone is different, so do whatever works for you and, and stick to that strategy. So if you guys, you know, can drop me a like and subscribe to let me know that you enjoyed this or if it was helpful because I'm going to start making more content. So um, as always, you guys, the levels do not lie and uh, stay frosty.